Hey, Darren Bacon here. Welcome to another installment of Concept Department. Today we are going to be building a quick block model of Moto using cylinder, cubes, uh, edge extend, and a line work plane selection. We're going to get started in Moto 801. The first thing I'll be doing is getting the backdrop item and pulling that into the scene. And then I'll right click on the backdrop item and click properties, where I will then load an image and I'll find my image and drop it in there. There it is. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is uh, opening a new window. So I go under layout, new window. I'll be uh, right clicking on the little arrow on the side and going down to 3D edit and then 3D model view. And then I am going to set it to my camera. Now, if I go back over to my backdrop item and click on the properties again, I can then change the projection type from front to camera and that will lock my camera to that little window. So now I can drop a cylinder in the scene and the cylinder will be in the same perspective I set up my camera that's matching my sketch. That's kind of the idea. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my polygon tool and then grab a end cap of the cylinder and then hit um, Command C on a Mac and Command V into a new mesh item, which I created by just hitting uh, N, which I, you can just go to add item mesh and then paste that circle down and I can thicken it. Now I can move it in the right place and then mirror it over on the Z axis, so I have uh, two front wheels, and I'll just use the transform tool to pull them together and kind of adjust them and then duplicate them back just by doing Command C, Command V. Now I sort of have my little scene laid out. I've added another uh, cylinder, just a flat cylinder polygon, and I'm gonna use the C tool and I'm gonna cut out a line and then delete another side of the polygon. And here I'm gonna be using my edge tool where I'll grab the edge tool, select the edge I want, and then hit Z to do edge extend and drag it out. And that's gonna to start to give me my the main shape of my fuselage. Doing that again, I'm just gonna select all the edges by double clicking them. Uh, once I have the edge selected, I will hit Z and drag it down and drag it down again. And that gives me you know more polygons to work with. Then I can adjust it. And here I am gonna just do the same thing again on the back and just drag some polygons out. I'm really not concerned about anything at this point other than kind of just getting some really, really primitive shapes in place to kind of collect light, you know, and that represents kind of what my sketch looked like. I'm not really thinking about good modeling. The next tool I use a lot is a line work plane to selection. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab a polygon that I want the work plane to be on. The work plane is this series of uh, or this grid of white lines here in my screen and that's kind of like if I just drag any uh, square or circle or cylinder out on whatever that's the work plane it's going to be built on so what I can do is assign a work plane to my selection which is going to mean my work plane is locked now to that selection so that I can then now I'm going to drag a, a cube out or a rectangle and it's going to immediately be on that work plane so that when I work with it it'll always be completely locked to that cylinder. And then I will thicken it using the thicken tool and I'll have this uh, cube rectangle shape that's you know perfectly on the right work plane. And I can just quickly uh, copy and paste it, get another one, I'm gonna continue to do that. I'm gonna speed it up here because now at this point I've covered all the techniques I'm gonna be using uh, throughout the rest of the little build. So it's really, really pretty simple. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what I was gonna do and how I do it. And then I'm going to show you over a few seconds uh, what the whole process is. This entire build took about 30 minutes start to finish. So I'm just speeding it up to give you an idea of what that looks like. So here is my pretty much my final. Uh, this is going to be the 3D that I'm going to use to uh, sketch over. I've got this back view, but I want to make sure that I have a front view drawn that respects all the perspective and proportions of my back view. So I just thought I'd build a really quick model and this is kind of the result of a typical block model I would build, just to give me overall proportions, silhouettes, shapes, just kind of landmarks to help guide me when I'm uh, working over the design from another angle. Now again, this is another uh, time-lapse piece where I'm just gonna be kind of zooming over uh, this painting because I covered this more extensively in a previous video. But what I'm doing here is just kind of translating my uh, older previous design of the rear, of the rear three quarter to this front uh, three quarter perspective. And it's really, really a simple sketch. I'm not really gonna go crazy here. I just wanted to give you an idea of how I would go about doing that. 
Uh, please don't forget, if you like what you saw, uh, to please subscribe and also uh, follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. Thank you very much.